I am Rodrigo Duterte, I'm a Filipino. I love the Philippines because it is the land of my birth. It is the home of my people. Then maybe we can find the forgiveness in our hearts. In the interest of the larger, larger picture of the East ASEAN and ASEAN countries. And with this situation also, I had to order uh, ano ba naman yung mangingisda lang uh, eh kung magdinamita ka dyan eh, mas marami pa ang makuha mo dyan sa, well anyway uh, this is something very, I consider minor. Hindi naman yung basta-basta. Since then about a year ago nandito na ako uh, kung ganun lang ka kadalas about seasonal, then maybe we can find the forgiveness in our hearts. In the interest of the larger, larger picture of the East ASEAN and ASEAN countries. Kailangan natin intindi natin yan eh. I had to do it because I made a commitment during the ASEAN. And it was also their promise that to do the same. That we treat our uh, poor uh, citizens who happened just to intrude somewhere with understanding, with love, or after all, hindi naman ito mga mayaman. Controller yan, siguro sabihin ko sa kosa, pasabugin mo, pero ano mo naman yung lansa-lansa? What is very important even is the security of our waters. We continue to have a problem itong pati sila you know, somewhere captured in that Sulu Sea and the Moloka Strait. We have to do something about it. We have met, and uh, I think the, the military and the police, they have this uh, modus vivendi, which they watch, they, if it's the one, na they will cooperate joint patrols. Ako sinabi ko, if it is a confirmed uh, terrorist uh, vessel. Sink it. Sink it. Never mind about uh, the terrorists. The fish will uh, consume them. Sink it and uh, end the problem. Mahirap yung ganon. Uh, you know, you capture people. You make them those chores like a slave. You are treated like a dog and they are, you are decapitated publicly in front of a, a, a video or television. That's why I said, yung mga sundalo naman natin, yung mga police may sidearms. And I also like to, to cause you now, the NPAs are on the offensive. Uh, binilihan ko lahat, pati yung army, wala silang sidearms. And I said that uh, I'll buy everyone and each one of you a sidearm. I'll give you this to protect you. Kasi itong mga NPA, so walang kahiyaan nila. Ito yung mga sundalo ko, pati police, na magpunta lang sa kampo, especially itong mga army, lalabas ng kampo, paturay-turay lang, kasi hindi naka-uniform eh. And they are just also like a dog, pinapatay. And what caused really my no, precipitated rather the yung, ay, yung ceasefire na nahinto. Because there was this ambush of two soldiers who went to the bank to get their hazard pay. Pinagbabaril nila. Nung tinanong ko ang medical legal, sabi ko, ilan ang tama? 70 through gunshot wounds. Ah, sabi ko, kababuya na to. Kaya tinawagan ko si John Anya, sabi ko, sir, I'm sorry, but uh, sabi nila, February 10 sila, sabi ko, unahan mo na, sabi ko, mauna na tayo. And now there is, uh, I am losing about on the average five to seven soldiers and policemen all throughout the country. They are now on the offensive and that is why I said 
Kayong mga police, just a little bit uh, of uh, vigilance. The sparrows are really active. Yung paglabas ng bahay ninyo, huwag mo na kayong lumabas. Yan dyan sa tindahan na yan, umabos ng soft drinks na, na dalawang oras na. There is something wrong with it, idiot. O yan dyan sa kanto, if you see him three times, uh, ilapitan mo na, o oh, posisyon ka muna. Total, may mga armas na ka. Tapos, huwag kayong magpalugi. Especially in Hulu, do not surrender. I do not mind losing properties of government. That's nothing to me. But as a buhay, if you are there, especially in those areas, you die with your dignity as a soldier. May baril kayo with three magazines. Yung dalawang magasin para sa kalaban yan. Yung isang magasin maiwan para sa iyo yan. Para sa bunganga mo yan, do not surrender the gun until you are dead. At do not give them the pleasure of decapitating you. Just shoot wherever you want to. You might start with your balls. Then going upwards and just say, Mabuhay tayong lahat sa imperno. Tayo rin na. Huwag kayong magpaputol ng ulo. Putang. Hindi ko na nga binabasa ang speech para masasabi ko. Wala naman sinabi dito na putulan kayo ng... Ayong mga lalaki na Buti kung putulan ka lang rin ang ano, Sabihin mo na ito Tulong binilig na If you lose something down there You are practically dead <laughs> Goodbye happiness <laughs> So I said uh, I'm, We are not I, I will not ever 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 talk to Eh, sa mga, there were attempts to establish a line. Yung mga fraternity brothers who are also maranounced. There will never be time that I'll talk to terrorists. Ang NPAs, pinotol ko na because I think that they are not really serious. Uh, just biding their time, they do not have the second echelons to carry the fight. And they just want to be comfortable. I am preparing now, they are preparing the executive order, declaring them to be terrorists. And they will be afforded the treatment of being criminals. Uh, there will be no filing of cases under the public security like rebellion, because rebellion is considered sometimes a noble undertaking. It's only because you want your country to do better. But that's why there is a bail. And I have given too much too soon. And I know that the military were complaining. But I said, you know, my job is to seek peace with everybody. To attain peace for my country. You have to understand that. So, dumating ang panahon, sabi ko, kita mo ngayon, I will order the re-arrest. But yun namang binitawan ko out also of humane reasons. For one, those who were above 70 like me, parang ako na ang napapagod para sa kanila. Although leaders, sabi ko, you can go. Anyway, they cannot go far. They cannot climb those mountains there. You will find them in sa mga ospital o sa kwarto yan, papahinga na. But I do not want to start a real violent war. But if the NPAs, just like the terrorists, would do it, then we will give them the favor. There will be no talks with the NPAs now. And I told them, we have been fighting this war 50 years ago. And they want another 50 years. 
I said I have pleaded even to go down on bended knees to ask everybody at the start of my presidency. Mag-usap lang tayo kasi ayaw ko ng pataya. That is not my job as president to promote wars. It's not my job to encourage violence. Pito yung droga for those human rights in or out of the Philippines. Hear this. Forget about it. Your complaints would just fall on deaf ears. Hindi kita pa.